Hi guys, it's reaction time. We got our Sava and Canyon. Subscriber has asked for this one, Avi Goldman. Um, I don't know a lot about this band. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing Asava. Asava? Asava? Not really sure. So let's just get straight into this. This is Asava and Canyon. Here we go. Got to stop it. <laughs> fucking hell, man. Wow. That fucking emotional shit, man. That is how you fucking put everything into a song. I love his vocals, man. He's got this almost vulnerability about some of it, and it's it's intentional, obviously. He's sort of his voice is breaking with the emotion. But then you know the fucking power he's got when he goes from that sort of quieter, whispery sort of lower range and then he reaches the power in the higher range. Just the dynamics of this song, man, have just got me going. It's fucking brilliant. They do remind me a little bit of Florence Black. A little bit. I don't know who came first, whether this band had been going longer than them. I don't know. So I do apologise if that offends any fans of either band. Um, but they... 
<clears throat> they remind me a little bit of Florence Black that perfectly, the way they sort of add that groove to them, that classic rock sort of feel, but very modern at the same time. And this band pulled that off just brilliantly, man. This is fucking excellent. I mean, that is just pure class in songwriting. The way that the light and shade is used in this song is so dynamic. That's how you pour all of your emotions into a song. And it's just fucking excellent, man. Brilliant video. So the visuals in the video just fit it perfectly as well. So kudos to the video whoever filmed this and had done this and directed this the whole thing is just captivating to tell you the truth musically and visually wow just sometimes you know a song comes along and you just think fucking hell man that is brilliant and it i can't see this is a song where i can imagine you know you all right you might not like the style but you can't deny the fucking emotion and they put everything into this songwriting and you know the performance of the song wow this is fucking top notch it really is here we go for the rest Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, again, a bit speechless there. I've, I've been speechless on a couple of fucking songs today, but for different reasons. But that's just, man, that is just fucking like, pulls at the heartstrings as well, man, doesn't it? I mean, that really is emotional. It's really dark. It seems like this, this fucking band are something special. I can't believe, right? It's just wound me up a little bit. I shouldn't have looked, but just looked at the, the views that this has got. This has been out a month and it's got 5,000 views. What the fuck? I mean, either, either people were just fucking losing it these days with taste, which we, we know that's a fact, actually. Or it just ain't, you know, it's just hard to get out there, you know, and listen and find new music. I, mean, I wouldn't have found this if it wasn't for A.V. Goldman 
recommended it to me and I would have missed it as well. But God, it's got literally one of the, and it's so catchy as well, isn't it? I mean, it's so dark and dense and beautiful though, but it's so fucking catchy that just like, that's just literally, I think it's going to be in my fucking head all day. So it's got everything. That song had literally everything. I mean, that guy sang special. And all, I haven't looked into the people in the band, but the vocalist and guitarist, obviously, he plays guitar as well. He's Man, he, he is a talent and half, this guy. I tell you, wow. Fucking hell. What a song. A Sava, a Saver, a Sava, and Canyon. <laughs> that is literally fucking like, I don't know, it sort of ripped me apart a little bit emotionally. That was a fucking amazing song. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below, guys. And I'll see you soon.